There's the line drive knocked down by Sable. The runner at third will hold, but Bagwell is safe at first. Caminetti was going. It's sky to left. Deion Sanders at the wall, and Bagwell has his first major league home run. Open for protection. Here's a high towering drive to deep left field, and this one is gone. Look at this upper deck. Well into the upper deck. What a shot by Bagwell. Again, 3 2. And Finley is going. He's hit the center field deep. Jackson going back. Looking up. Bagwell has hit a home run. There's a high drive left field. I said he was close to 70. He's on 70. Holy Toledo, what a year for Bagwell. All star credentials through and through. A new career high in homers. 21. Line down toward the right field corner. It'll go up again. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. When you're hot, you're hot. Bagwell makes a bid. Could it be? Win at the wall. in his last three trips to the plate in this game. Now it's six runs batted in. They're not going to let him stay in that dugout. Yeah, there come on out. That a boy. He lined to third his first time up. It's a high drive here to left center field. And Bagwell has done it again. It's still alive. An incredible season continues as Bagwell hits number 39 for a 3-2 Astros lead. He has 115 RBIs now. Man, oh man. That's a takeoff pattern for a 727. Look out. I think he's jacked one. Has he ever? It's up there again. How about it? How about that for timing? <laughs> a little memory bank. Give he me jacked five. it into the upper deck. They'll have to put another number up there with Bagwell on it. Whoa, did he hit it. That kid never dreamed he'd have a souvenir tonight. And the crowd, even though it's hit against them, they're showing their appreciation. That is a bomb. Look at this swing. Boy, is everything in place or yeah, what? It's amazing that he can generate that much power with that short a swing. Up among the leaders with 12 homers and 39 RBIs. There's a drive to left. Is it going to hook? That's hit number 1,000 for Jeff Bagwell in his career. Runner goes to third. Here's Oliver's throw in the dirt. Bagwell steals it. He's a 30-30 man. The first ever for the Houston Astros and the first full-time first baseman in Major League history to hit 30 or more homers and steal 30 or more bases. He's been flirting with this for about five pitches. He finally got comfortable with the right jump. What a tremendous milestone. He has 30 steals in 40 tries, 75% success. This may really help his uh, MVP candidacy because the numbers jump out at you a little bit more. Yes. Here's a deep drive to left. Back is Glenn Allen Hill looking up, and Houston leads one to nothing. Jeff Bagwell with a home run to straightaway left. All the way on to Waveland Avenue, and Houston leads one to nothing. 
And the pitch, Spires runs. Bagwell hits a high drive to deep right center. Back is Sosa, back near the wall, looking up, it's gone. A three-run homer for Jeff Bagwell, and it's 4 nothing. You know, you talk about a guy last year, and he got off to a ter terrible start last year, but Moises Alou had a tremendous year. Wouldn't look like it. 3-2 pitch, hit high in the air, deep left field, back is Glenn Allen Hill, looking up, and it's a three-homer game oh. for Jeff Bagwell. His third of the day, he has six RBIs, and the Astros now lead 7-2. to two. Here's a drive deep left center field. Back to the wall, and out of here, a home run for Bagwell. A three-run shot on the first pitch out of the bullpen from Sean Lowe. Two homers in the inning, and we talked about big innings before. This is how they get them. I mentioned he's a low ball hitter. And he's also a low ball crusher because that was crushed. The stockpile of the wood bats. Here's a long one to left field for Bagwell. He hits this one out of sight into the White Sox bullpen. He was looking to do one thing, John, and he's done it twice tonight. Hit a home run. One strike, one out. The pitch to Bagwell. There's a long one to left field. He just lost his third home run of the night. Oh, he launched it. He likes this city. He had three against the Cubs earlier this year. Now he has three against the Sox. Three home runs in his last three at bats. This a two run homer in the ninth inning off Keith Folk. And Bagwell is rounding the bases. The fans behind the Sox dugout are giving him the uh, Wayne's World salute. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. If he puts down a one. You're not going to run. That's the fastball normally. If you see some fingers wiggling in there, then you take off. And Bagwell hits a high drive deep to left center field, way back there. Owens to the wall, and it's gone. 102 runs scored. Hot shot off the glove of Marlon Anderson. It caroms into center. Hit. Lugo will score. And Bagwell knocks in his 85th run of the year. Ground ball shortstop. This will get a run home. Tomas Perez throws out Bagwell. And he did. <laughs> Three run home run. Nine to five. Houston. Well. He just said it. You got to keep this guy in the park and. Not always easy. 32 home runs he's hit on the season. Jeff Bagwell's career high in RBIs in the game. Five. He will not get an RBI here as he is hit by a pitch as he is so often. There goes Bagwell. Low and in the dirt. Prince's throw is late and he will steal the base. Here's another one. <laughs> And ball to deep right center field, and that is out of here. Second home run of the afternoon for Bagwell. He has equaled his career high and runs batted in the game. Six of them. 33 homers now, 90 runs batted in, 105 runs scored. Woo. Bagwell rocks one into center, Biggio around third. Jimmy Edmonds comes up firing the home plate. And it's not in time. Edmonds has seven outfield assists. He can make it close. Biggio limping home to make it a 1 1 game. Oh, there will be some out there. You know that. Bagwell to left center. Read this ball. <laughs> and Bagwell has cranked one. It is not a homer. He is stopping at second base. He just fell short of home run territory. Bagwell <laughs> this time, Mike Clockett. Bonilla back. And he reaches the Crawford boxes. A three run homer for Bagwell. Number 26. 14 to 8, Houston. His second extra base hit in the inning. A fly ball in the thinking it's a ground ball. Bagwell in the right center. 
And extra bases for Jeff, 16 to 11 as Vigio scores. He's going to go for three. Bagwell with a triple, and that's the cycle for Jeff Bagwell. First Astro to hit for the cycle since Ando Arcedeño in 92. That was against St. Louis, ironically, on uh, the eight, uh, the 25th of August, a 13-inning game, when Cedeno did it. So St. Louis, the victim again, Bagwell for the first time. Single, double, homer, and triple. Finally gets the sign he wants, checks that first, and uh, comes set, pitch. Swing, and a long one to center. Back, back, at the track, at the wall. Home run Bagwell and two more score. It's seven to one Houston. Bagwell taps it slowly hit Tatis coming a long way and safe at first hit number 2000 for Jeff Bagwell. In the same place where Craig Biggio got his 2000th two years ago on an infield hit. There's a drive way back in the left. Bagwell has gone deep in his boyhood dream. And I mean, it was way up over the Green Monster. Oh, does that feel good to him rounding those bases at Fenway Park? Let's throw a little Walter Mitty on this. That's exactly what Jeff Bagwell's going through right now. He's having a lot of thoughts. I can guarantee you going through in his, his head. All those dreams as a kid and a chance to come back here and launch one over the monster. His dad brought him here so many times. Then he, the dream of being drafted for the Red Sox came true out of college. Broken hearted when he was traded to Houston. Not broken hearted anymore. What a wonderful career he's had as an Astro. Cubs do not have a day off this week. Neither do the Astros. High drive to left field. Bagwell watches it go, and this is number two of the game for him. This one further out toward left center over the 379 side for number 20 and number 400 in his career. 400 homers for Jeff Bagwell. Now, earlier, we were talking about Craig Biggio and round milestone numbers and start thinking about the Hall of Fame. Obviously, it's a fairly select group. When you start talking about 400 home runs and a big ovation from the fans here in Cincinnati. Not to mention the boys in the dugout. They are standing and applauding Jeff Bagwell. And the 2 2 to Bagwell. Swinging and drives it back into left field. Watch it, watch it. And what do you think? Grand slam. Grand salami. Bags had the luxury that you were already in front. Seven to two, and he. There are sometimes I think when you swing for home runs and the cuts he took, I think he figured I can bust this baby open. Yeah, why not? Jeff Bagwell really takes advantage right here. He actually looked for it to drive it that way. Well, he drives this one to right field, very deep. Drew on the move at the track and the wall, and it is gone. A home run for Jeff Bagwell to right field, and it is one to nothing, Houston. Bagwell looking yesterday to drive it to right. He doubled this time over the fence to get Houston going one to nothing. Well, you've got to you've got to know Bagwell being around the game as much as he has. He gets this pitch the first time and he can't get to it. Well, you know Hampton's going to go right back out there and try to go a little bit further. Bagwell guesses right and gets the pitch that he wants to hit. He smoked that David. His first career postseason home run. And how about that for a note? Bagwell hammers the first pitch. It'll fall in a base hit. Racing home is Ensberg, and Bagwell delivers a 4 4 game in the ninth inning. Bagwell into center field. Rowan will not get there, and the Astros have a leadoff hit in the ninth. You can see Pierzynski setting up. up. And that ball right around the knees of Bagwell. And he opens the Houston ninth with a base hit.